Number 1. The Belfry of Tournai. Business. A very long day, after traveling into the Wallonia region, via Eurotunnel, and then, Dunkirk by car, it was a curiosity to me that it was merely two days, off a year, since an evening in Dunkirk, which was not very pleasant or positive. Remarkable how quickly a year passes. Have driven through Wallonia several times, yet was not incredibly familiar with this region. Number 2. Notre Dame Cathedral. Clearly knowing that the cathedral is in renovation I still was impressed by the five towers and the nice facade with many sculptures. The cathedral opened with a delay of five minutes and what I was annoyed by is the fact that the treasury had vastly different opening times than advertised on the cathedral webpage. Number 3. Musée d'Histoire Naturelle et Vivarium. Let me start by saying that I was impressed with the large amount of animals they have on display. From sea creatures, to marsupials, lions and bears, birds and simians, the museum had a lot. I have never seen so many dissected animals and I really appreciated the effort. Number 4. Musée du Folklore, Folklore Museum. This is a great place for those who love visuals of local historical progressions. Clothing, textiles, tools and professional equipment from a generous cross-section of society are represented here. You can really appreciate how people in the area lived in comparison to how they live now and how the world in general has changed. Number 5. Museum of Fine Arts. We went to Tournai mainly for a family visit, but decided to take in this museum. The collection is limited but I do like some of the 19th century painting it displays, regardless of the fact that most of it is by painters who are nor world-renowned. And there are some French Impressionist masters, there is also some sculpture, but I am more of a paintings fan. Number 6. Pont de Trues. I've seen a few pictures of this beautiful Gothic bridge and was rather looking forward to seeing this landmark of Tournai. I get there, what the deuce. There's current construction working going on to widen the central arch. The bridge is no more. Only the two towers at either bank, plus the vertical supports in the river remain. Number 7. St. James Church. Eglise St. Jacques de Tournai or St. James Church is a historically important church in Wallonia that was part of the pilgrimage routes of Santiago de Compostela. The current building dates back to the end of the 12th century and is a mixture of Gothic and Romanesque. Almost monumental in scale, Sadly time has taken its toll on the building. Number 8. Tamit slash Musée de la Tapisserie. This is a small museum dedicated to tapestries. From the plaque at the entrance to the museum, I was expecting exhibitions about tapestries in Tournai. It is, sort of. The museum exhibits a mixture of ancient and contemporary tapestries, plus some contemporary art. Number 9. Central Square. The Central Square in Tournai. It's kind of like a typical European public square with many restaurants, cafes and civic buildings around the square. It part public square and part giant car park as well. Some important buildings like the Cloth Hall, Belfry of Tournai and St. Quintinskirk Church are all around the square. Number 10. La Halle AUX Straps. La Halle AUX Straps, or the Cloth Hall, is a public building on the Grand Place of Tournai that used to be the cloth trading building of the city. The building is a nice mix of Renaissance and Baroque. Inside, the building houses a public exhibition space, although when I tried to enter the building, I was told it was shut. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.